You take the covers and you, let, you put them over someone's head and you fart underneath the covers. Oh my god, that's so gross. Seabass from The Woody Show here. I attended the Women's March in order to atone for my many sins as a male. I walked among my powerful sisters to let them know, while I may have been part of the patriarchy in the past, I will do better in the future. And I apologize. Oh, well, I'm apologizing. I can only really apologize for myself, obviously. Sure. My ex-girlfriend and I, uh, I thought it would be really funny one time. You ever heard of the term a uh, Dutch oven? No. It's where you, were, like we were in bed, I and mean, it was like the morning, like Sunday morning, and we had like a nice dinner the night before that uh, I had paid for, which I shouldn't have. I should have gone Dutch. But speaking of Dutch, well, no, the Dutch oven is where you, um, you take the covers and you, let, you put them over someone's head and you fart underneath the covers. Oh my God, that's so gross. If you were her, would you forgive me? I mean, I grew up with two older brothers and they did really dumb shit. I, I think that actions and like growth are more important. So like, if you went back to her and were like, listen, I'm sorry. Like if I were her, I'd just be like, thank you for saying something, you know? I appreciate that, yeah. yeah I just feel, feel so bad because she was, she was like gagging and retching and she went to the bathroom. I mean, this is quite the statement. If you send her a photo of this being like, I apologize to all women on your behalf. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty bold. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Mike Kaplan. Mike Kaplan. I'm Svet. Nice, nice to meet you, Svet. Appreciate it. Have a good day. She sort of had a rule where, and I agreed to this, there that I couldn't finish in bed until she finished six times. And one time, it was like four and a half, five times, and I went ahead and finished, and I was, at the time, I was like, oh, whatever, you know? Yeah, then thinking later, I'm like, no, that's what I agreed to, you know? Like, the word had gotten around that I was, like, really good in bed, and she's like, well, okay, but I'm going to finish six times before you finish once. And I said, okay. But then I broke my word to her, and I just feel so bad about that, you know? Yeah. Don't feel too bad about it. If anything, I mean, to me personally, that rule feels kind of excessive. <laughs> well, I mean, you just got to find the right guy, whatever. It is. We have this guy at our office, and he's he's effeminate, you, you, you know, by, by, you know, traditional standards or whatever. Uh, his name's Cameron, and one of, and his boss uh, called him a big fat vagina one day, and I was like, and I stood there silent, you know? And it wasn't like, oh, a vagina, like in the, you know, the powerful terms that it, you should think about a vagina, and they meant it derogatorily. Uh, and Cameron, being Cameron, took it and just kind of like weaseled away. But I felt like I should have stood up and said something. I think you're forgiven for that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. My boss is a woman, which is fantastic. That's the way it should be. Uh -huh. All women should be by the bosses. But uh, she asked me a question. I said, yes, ma'am. And I thought like, oh man, what a like outdated term to use, you know. Um, probably should have used something like yes goddess probably, you know? Uh, now that I think about it, but that was, you know, that was, it's been, it's been some time I, now. I don't know if you want to call your boss a goddess. But aren't all women goddesses though, which was my thought like later on, you know? That's a controversial term. Controversial? I don't think so. I think all women are goddesses. <laughs> well, anyway, I never asked for her forgiveness because I moved to a different yeah. company, but. That's that's so low okay. on the, on the scale on the, of yeah. offensive terms. Well, thank you, goddesses. And she calls thank me a goddess. You. Appreciate it. Thank Have you. a great day. Thanks for coming out. But I went to vote, and I didn't vote for a woman candidate. I see the problem is it was two men who was who were running, so like I couldn't. I didn't know like just you just, do you just write in woman and then. <laughs> woman, anyone. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, well, women are the best. So, do you accept my apology at least? I do. Oh, thank you. Thank you for noticing. Thank you, goddess. Can I take a photo? Sure, no problem. Oh, dude, I do not love. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I, oh. You, you, oh, get, you don't have to look away. So oh, okay, yeah. Like, I don't want to like make it about me though. It's a thing, you know. Good man. Oh man. I don't want to like. It's just a good time. Yes. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. ladies. My coworker, he um, he saw you know the singer Lizzo. I don't know. No. She's uh, she got a bunch of hits this year, but she's a large lady. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yep. And my my coworker said she was you know fat and gross, 
But what I should have said is, no, Lizzo's beautiful, gorgeous goddess. And I didn't say that, and I'm just, I feel bad about it, you know? I ended up having a threesome with some ladies, and instead of, like, just respect, well, instead of just, like, respecting their, you know, their choices, I told a bunch of my friends, every guy friend I would tell, you know, high five, high five. Enjoy the beautiful act for what it is, and don't, like, use it to boost your ego, you know? Yeah. So, like, that would be an example, personally, where I was, I just, not proud of how I acted.